everybody, we're back for another video. It is late at night because I thought I was taking a NyQuil set of caplets, but instead I took the DayQuil caplets and for some reason now my sinuses is a lot clearer, but I can't sleep. So there must have been caffeine or only God knows what was in that pill. So I think I'm gonna be up for a while. Um, so I thought I would film a little video of the things that I'm using right now. Um, since I had a couple unboxings recently, since I had, you know, the unboxing of the stuff from Olga, and then I also had the Foxy Fix Mystery unboxing, a couple of things have changed, but some things have stayed the same. So let's do a quick little run through of the many items <laughs> that I carry around with me. Well, not that many, um, usually just these, and these usually stay home. So the first thing I will show you again is my, I'm still in it, it is my fake Giglio. It is the brown leather with the gray leather interior. And I decided to put in my um, zipper pouch. Um, it's from the same company that made this one, Moterm, but everything is, the same. I've got my 2019 Midori calendar in here. I have my 2020 Paper and Cats calendar in here for future concert dates that I need to check on. My zipper pouch, which has some cash in there. A folder, and then a dot grid notebook that I kind of use as a, um, inbox and then my writing board so that's my wallet that is with me no matter where I go so this is always my my um, number one travel travel guy this is that beautiful blue Giglio um, fake Giglio that um, was sent to me uh, by Olga. It's such a pretty color. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's so soft, but it has structure. It's really great. And the inside is orange, and I did have my journal in it for a while, but I decided to put my um, Peaky Dory Design Calendar, which I'm using for tracking the our bills and our no spend for the rest of the year. Um, and just have a few family calendar things, plus our work schedules. Um, I have a Pan Am grid notebook in here. Um, just some cute little Traveler's Factory things. I have some extra of those free printables that I cut up in here on different papers, an elastic. And then I started to use this. I did it for two days, <laughs> three days, and was like, ugh. And so I haven't been back to it. So I have to, I have to make time for tracking my food. And I've been practicing my brush lettering. I'm gonna practice every day until the end of the year. So I've got some ink on me. And so that's what I have in there. And this is a beautiful notebook for that. And next year, this is going to change a little bit. I'm going to have some new inserts for it. So look for that. I'll share that one in a little bit. Um, I decided to pull this pouch back out. This is the one that I got last, about a year ago, from Baumkuchen. And it's the um, Atelier's. Penelope bag, which is, I think, a Japanese company? Yes, it's made in uh, Tokyo. Um, but, yeah, I've got a couple of cute pins from friends. Um, but what I keep in it is for when I'm on the go and I need to teach and I just need a few items. Um, this is my, it's kind of like my <laughs> not Bible, but it's like my planner planner. I've got my Faroof zipper pouch. 
some washi, kita washi, some stencils, some post-it notes, some little page flags. But it has my um, monthly calendar from Paper and Cats, and I've decided to print out, I have so many of these little, um, for my HP Sprocket, that I just don't use, so I decided to print little things from Pinterest, and this is Doubt Kills More Dreams Than Failure Ever Will. And so I've been putting little stickers everywhere. But it has my monthly calendar. Here we are, Yom Kippur. Um, and I just used the last page to test for pens. This is just um, a hammer mill, like, paper. Uh, the one that comes with the green apple on it, whatever one that is. My weekly it says, don't let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do. Take pride in how far you have come and have faith in how far you can go. This I got from Olga, so I wanted to put that in there. And this I got somewhere on in Instagram, maybe? Oh, that's Nope, we're way down here now. Um, just some holidays. So that's my weekly. And this is going to be changing a little bit for next year. I have a new setup coming to look forward to. And this is the one that I use for keeping track of my students. There's the cute little Seamus. Oops, glare. There. <laughs> and I've been using this pen. It is a Pilot High Tech C Mica. And the reason I've been using it is it's the same ink that is in the um, Pilot uh, Colettos, except it's a much, has much more ink than those little refills have. And then I have, after the folder, a, um, just a grid notebook from Taroko Shop where I've got some ideas for some YouTube videos and stuff like that. And then my very first Traveler's Factory writing board I got back in 2015. Um, so that's what we have in here. Um, and I do have, it does have the zipper pouch here. And I do have a few pens. I have, um, some of my highlighters that I use for our tracking mild liners. I have a Tombow Mono Drawing Pen 01, Paper Mate Ink Joy 05, and this is a Zebra, uh, I think it's one of the Fude pens. Yeah, it's a Fude pen. So I've got those in there. And then there's another zipper here. And I just got some of my favorite washi in here. There's some, um, this is Coco Daisy washi, um, except I think this bottom one, this yellowish orange is, um, MT. These are classic -y. and then except for this bottom one is, um, oh, what is her name? See that little red-headed girl? I, it's, I can't remember. Um, and then these are MT washi, so just a few washies in case I need them. So that's what I have in there. Let's do the Traveler's Notebook first. So this is the Foxy Fix Traveler's Notebook that I got. Oop. And you can see this leather shows marks. Um, I've only had it just for a couple of days, three days. Um, this leather uh, is the, um, and I did take the, um, I got some pen ink on it already. Um, this is the Sedona leather in the wild flower line. And it is, you can see a single elastic. And I actually thought of putting grommets for those little rings or whatever those things are called here. Um, just something I thought of, but it's a, beautiful piece of leather. It has some nice marking. And I have not been, um, how do you say, I've not been very fragile with this. I've thrown it in my bag. I've carried it around without having it in a bag. Um, 
because it, it's, as you can see, it's not a thin leather, but it's definitely not too thick. But um, I just, I think this is one of those that's gonna age so well and will look nice, you know, scuffed up, showing everything. And so that's why I decided to put my journal and my art journal in here. Um, I don't have anything in the pocket yet, but see, you can see, look how beautiful this leather is. It has a little bit of pull up. It just has a little bit of pull up, um, but it's such a beautiful leather. The inside does have a nap, and it kind of reminds me of the original Midori nap. Um, it's not like silky soft fuzz like the newer ones, um, but it's soft, but it's not, you know, it, it has a little bit of texture to it, but it is so beautiful. So I have a zipper pouch with, um, this is, the husband brought this back for me. It is um, a body leaf tree from Bod in Gaia in 2015. It's, um, uh, story has it that the, um, the Buddha uh, sat underneath a, a Bodhi tree and gained enlightenment. And so this is a leaf that has been dried and pressed from a Bodhi tree from Bodh Gaya. So, yeah, I thought that was very special. That was so sweet. Um, I've got a couple of my stencils. I have no idea why I keep these in here because I never use them. But they're there. Um, so this is um, an insert that I started back in May. And I did have something here that I didn't like that I tried to to redo and rip out and it didn't do go very so well. So I just glued those pages together because it didn't, and, and this here doesn't either. It doesn't really fit the aesthetic of the rest of the notebook um, because this is what I have my Winnie the Pooh in, my um, lemon meringue, my strawberry shortcake, my huckleberry pie, little apricot, orange blossom, blueberry muffin, um, apple dumpling. And these are all done with the um, real brush pens from Arteza. Those are wonderful. And I wanted to finish her tea and honey and this was something that I did late um, last week. Sunday, last Sunday, Monday, I guess. Um, it was um, Rosh Hashanah and I was up late, couldn't sleep. And so I drew some pomegranates and some blossoms and some leaves I wanted to finish. Um, so that's what I have in here. Oh, that's a little bee I did in the style of Mindy Lacefield. Um, I don't think I have. Oh, I just got like some little things that I've printed. Those were my very first two sheep sparrows, which of course I don't have anymore, and those are the only two I want. <laughs> you know, things like that. Some photos I had taken, you know, just some things to put in my journal. And then on this, I have. Remember when Shakespeare was giving out these big cards like this? I have um, my actual journal journal. Um, and some people had commented the other day, I had posted like these few pages here. Um, and actually mainly this one. Um, my journaling style has kind of changed this second half of the year. I, since I have, I had like a hundred or so little prints, so I decided to print, you know, some of my photos and put them in my journal. And I've been actually doing a lot more writing with less um, watercolory stuff. I guess I started this in August? No, the end of July. Um, 
and just some writing and you know kitty we we got her on the 10th um so that was a wonderful thing she was kind of a gift we we um i was just looking at this on friday the 9th of august that was my grandmother johnson's yard site at temple which was like the um honor we honor the memory of her death so the day after that little lila sweet little lila came into our our life so that's you know very precious because my mother and grandmother they had cats when you know my mother was a child so i find that very intriguing that we had her yard site and the next day this little abandoned kitten in a dumpster made her way into our home so she's very precious to me um she can go crazy at two o'clock in the morning but she's still very precious to me. Um, and so then I started writing about her because Enthusiastically Dawn, um, the journal enthusiast, um, said journal about her. And so then I was like, well, I have to journal about Seamus because I, I can't forget about my, my, my little baby boy. So then I've been journaling about them both and her little Lion King photo um, and how she's, you know, changed our lives and that was Seamus the first time I held him look at that sweet little paper face um, and so my, my journey style has changed I've, I've stopped throwing down like just watercolor everywhere and gotten back to what journaling really is words um, and and you know like Photos like I, I had a couple of little stickers and some printouts that I wanted to use but like photos of where I am and what I'm doing that day and um, I found that online and I just thought it was a cute since I was talking about fallen cats and then one of my friends some of their photos I thought they were so beautiful and inspiring so I decided to put them there and then I, I had some just random photos like my parents on their wedding day and here I am playing with a good friend of mine Izzy we um, recorded with Hanson a couple of summers ago and there were lots of videos with us in it and that's one of the still shots from the video and Chad my little panda bear and him in one of those cool little toys at the gathering place and um, just you know some wonderful photos I love this spread. I started using brown ink and I'm actually really loving it, especially with it being fall. And just some little, I decided to, my very first planner photo posted on my Instagram it was October 16th, 2014. And it was my brown passport Midori with some scotch washi tape and a book called Taking the Leap <laughs> by uh, Pema Chodron. I find that very intriguing that that's there. Um, but then, yeah, so like these last two spreads here, a friend of mine on Instagram um, said that he really loved the look because it's not owned by any one company. And I thought that was very intriguing because for the longest time I was a Coco Daisy subscriber and I love Coco Daisy. I love their items and, you know, I, I love the company, but I, I started to feel like all of my stuff was looking like everybody else's stuff. And I didn't want my planner or my journal to look like everybody else's. So I this last year I've been curating... Um, you know, things that I find precious and special to me. Um, and to me, this is fall. I've got some Arteza markers that were sent to me, some MT washi, some beautiful leaf on wood paper I printed um, from a digital download. Two of my um, friend's beautiful photos. She is an amazing artist on Instagram. You can find her at... M-O-R-E-V-A 
A R T, and I will link her. She um, works with uh, 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 Saint Petersburg watercolors, the Nevsky Palitra. Um, hands down, my favorite watercolors. I know a lot of people love the Daniel Smith or the Windsor Newton and all these others, but I have to say my favorite are the uh, Nevsky Palitra, uh, the um, Saint Petersburg Biela Noche, uh, Saint Petersburg watercolors. Those. Russian watercolors are amazing. The pigment is amazing. You can get great washes. For me, that's that's my number one go-to. But he said, you know, it's it's an it's not owned by anyone. It's like a, a unique amalgamation of what is really me. And so I've just got a few more pages, like one, two, three spreads, and my pen test page and my writing board. So that is my journal. So that is my journal. But let's take a quick little look. I decided to use this wonderful pencil pouch from uh, the Heat Lab Smart Fit that Olga sent me because it's such a bright, cheery kind of color. So, so let's take a look and see what all we have in here. So the very first thing you'll see is a, I think it's Tombow. Yes, it's Tombow Mono Correction Tape, and it's a mini. I think on Amazon I bought like a, a pack of like 10 of these, and I've, I've had these forever. Um, so here's that brown pen that I was using. I got this from one of my wonderful subscribers here on um, YouTube, and I cannot remember who. She sent me two beautiful Pentel Energel, and they're the 07. I normally, I know I normally don't like 07. Usually I use the um, like 038, 04, 05, but this Pentel in brown is amazing. She sent me two pens and I think three refills. And of course, you know, the husband took one pen and one refill. So I've got two pens and a refill and I love this. And for the life of me, I cannot remember who it was because it was such a long time ago. But thank you, I'm loving that pen. I have my Muji ruler. And then these are the colors that I've been loving this fall. Um, these are the, let's see if you can see that there, Arteza Twee Markers. I, I think it's their play on twin marker, like a Tombow twin marker, because it has, you can see a brush nib and it's kind of like a fine liner there. Um, and what I love about them is they say the name of the color, like this one is sage green. It's like a real color. And that is pretty close to the color that you see. And so these are the ones that I've been using so far this fall. This is my favorite one, olive green. This one is beautiful too. It's called earth red. This is yellow ochre. And then this one is sienna brown. And to me, those colors scream fall. I love them. Uh, what else do I have in here? Oh, I have some 05HB Neox Pilot graphic, Graphite Lead for my mechanical pencils. What else? Does everybody have one of these? Those Starbucks paper clips that they use to cut washi and that's it because that's all it's really good for. And some, oh, let me set those down. Little post-it page flags. So that's what's in there. Oh, and a tiny little book binder clip. And let's see what we have in here. Quite a bit of stuff. I have a Stadler Mars plastic. It's kind of like a foam um, eraser. I have my I can get it to come out. <laughs> Travelers Company. It's kind of hard to see there on the brass. Travelers Company brass fountain pen. This is hands down my favorite fountain pen I have. I have um not many, but a couple, and, and this is hands down my favorite. I have a 
Paper Made Ink Joy in black. I have two of these. They're the Tool Mechanical Pencils. They're 05, hence the lead. Let's see. Um, I have this, a Tool, and it is a ballpoint pen, and it is in the fine point. I have another Pilot High Tech C Mica, and this one's a 04. I think the other one was a 03. Here's the Paper Mate Ink Joy 07 in that kind of. Do they say what color it is? It's kind of like a aqua blue. I don't know. I have a. And the, these I got from Olga, a Stabilo, which is kind of like a um, marker. This is a Stedler Tripus Fine Liner in that aqua color as well. And there's the Stabilo, which is like a fine liner. Um, here's my blue Pilot High Tech C Mica in 04, which I use for like YouTube notes. And then I also have this one, which is almost the exact same thing. It's a Pilot G Tech C4. And then the last two things I have are two of my mild liners. Now I know people say they've got the color on here, but mine are all in Japanese and uh, there's kanji in there. So I'm not gonna attempt that. Um, so yeah, so that is all of the stuff that I'm using this month of, what month are we in? October. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. That's the ticket. Um, so, I know it seems like a lot. Um, <clears throat> this goes with me when I'm teaching and sometimes with me to symphony. So, you know, it's not going with me everywhere. This is always in my flute bag. Um, this is with me everywhere, my wallet. This stays at home, and this stays at home, unless I have a long teaching day and I might pop an insert or two in here. But really, this is the only stuff that goes with me everywhere that I have to take my flute. So 90% of the time, this stuff stays at home. So it's really not a lot, but it's, you know, my heart, my mind, our home finances. So it it, it, it it makes sense when you see it that way. A lot of people will think, well, that's a lot of planners. Well, I just have it separated in certain ways. So, you know, let's start a discussion down below. You know, what do you use? Do you have things that you only use at home? Do you have things that you only use on the go? Do you have way too many pens like I have? You know, I like pens. Um, so let's start a discussion down there, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.